the day off, so I figured I'd take you with me to run some errands and just relax. Shockingly, my curls have stayed from doing the heatless curls from yesterday. It's linked in my Amazon um, storefront if you are interested. I think I wanna do a light makeup today. I'm gonna be using MAC foundation. It's been a while since I've done long form videos. I've been really into TikTok and short form videos. If you like those, check them out. But I'm trying to be more active on YouTube. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It's so crazy, I can't believe people actually care what I do. So if you've been following my short form videos or TikToks, you will see I recently found out I am positive for BRCA1, which is so So I'm scheduled to get surgery in January for a double mastectomy preventative. And in order to clear, I had to, oh my gosh, this looks crazy. <laughs> Wait, hold on, sorry. I'm trying to rush, I'm doing this with my hands. I should have used a brush. Anyways, in order to clear for the surgery, I had to get an MRI and a mammogram, and I just got the results back that I am cancer-free, so that is wonderful news because it means that um, I have a lot more options, and obviously my recovery is gonna be much better, and I won't have to do chemo and radiation and all that. It's definitely been triggering to talk about it with people because it's bringing up a lot of emotions about my mom. She passed away from breast cancer at 38. And a lot of times when people hear about BRCA, they're like, oh, does breast cancer run in your family? And then you have to tell this whole story. And I'm kind of just tired of explaining it. I think it's important to spread awareness though. So let me know if you have any questions. And I would definitely recommend that if anybody has any form of cancer that is pretty revel relevant, relevant, prevalent. If anybody has any kind of cancer that's prevalent in their family, I would highly advise you to get genetic testing. And that also goes for people that may not know their background because they're adopted or something. It's never a bad idea to go and get checked and see if you are high risk for any cancers. I have been asked to get genetic testing since the age of like 25 and I didn't want to because I felt like Ignorance is bliss, but ignorance is not bliss if you do get cancer. And now I have so many more options because I know this information. I get tested earlier, I get more attention, and now I'm basically like beating breast cancer before I even get it. The doctors estimated that I had about a 70 to 80% chance of getting breast cancer. It is also more associated with triple negative cancer, which means it's harder for my body to fight it when I do get it, or if I do get it. So honestly, I'm probably saving my life, which is crazy to think about because I'm only 29 and I feel like a baby. As I'm sure you can tell, I am by no means a makeup artist at all. I just try to do whatever has kind of worked and I just add to it or whatever. I'm doing my best. I've been loving the no makeup look, like with just foundation, bronzer, powder, blush, and like some mascara. I used to wear a lot of eyeliner and I feel like this is actually doing more for my face by like not. It's also much easier this way. So my eyebrows are not naturally this thick. I actually have them micro shaded. I feel like that was one of my favorite investments because it makes such a difference on my face. They basically measure out the proportions of your face and outline what they think is a good eyebrow shape for your face. I actually thought mine might be like a little thicker than I would like, but I do think it suits me and it saves me so much time in the morning and allows me to just wake up feeling a little prettier. I kind of felt that way when I had lashes, but lashes took so much more maintenance. These I get done like every year and a half. It's finally starting to get cooler in Chicago, which I love. They just feel so crisp. Speaking of, I need to walk my dog. Let's get changed.
these have been my delicious breakfast coffee. It just got hot all of a sudden. I need to go get this blazer that I just got hemmed. The sleeves are too long on me. That always happens, I'm five foot, so let's go. Finding a good alterations place is so clutch. She's gonna do it in two days and it was only 20 bucks for the whole sleeves and I got it at Ross so I feel like it was definitely worth it to get it hemmed. I like to try to get clothes that just fits me and doesn't require hemming because I don't like paying the extra premium but it's worth it when you get an affordable find. My husband just texted me that he's on the grill so I'm excited he's making steak. <laughs> the best cookies. running shoes let's check them out these are the nike pegasus i enjoy running shoes that have these kinds of shoelaces it's just so much easier and i feel like it actually stays they're cute let's try them out been trying to get better at working out consistently and I found at a minimum I just need to move more so I have a minimum goal of 7,000 steps a day and the ultimate goal is 10,000 steps a day. I try to get 10,000 a day but if I get less than that I'd need to at least hit 7,000 to just not beat myself up and I found that that has gotten me a little bit more successful. I think if you reach too high and try to get 10,000 steps a day off the bat, it can be intimidating. And if you don't meet it for one day, you can get discouraged and kind of just like let yourself go. So I'm trying to avoid that. 